Welcome to the introductory lecture on computer networks. In this lecture, you are going to learn about fundamental concepts of computer networks and their usage. First, I will discuss why we should study computer networks. We use them at work for communications via email and video conferencing as well as file sharing and printing. We use them at home for entertainment like listening to music through internet, playing multiplayer games, and watching movies online. Organizations use computer networks to streamline their business processes and run their operations efficiently. Many new services and businesses, for example, Amazon, Google, eBay, Facebook, Twitter, to name a few, were created based on computer networks. They are so important and pervasive that computer networks have become part of our daily lives. And there are a growing number of career opportunities in this area. So what is a computer network? A computer network is a very simple concept. It is a set of electronically connected computers or electronic devices which can share information and resources among themselves. There are communication protocols such as TCP, IP that define how the sharing should take place. A computer network allows computers, also known as nodes, to exchange data. In computer networks, network computing devices pass data to each other along data connections, also known as communication links. The connections or network links between nodes are established using either cable media like twisted pair, coaxial cable, or fiber optic cable, or it can be wireless media too. Do you know the best known computer network today? It is the internet which all of you are quite familiar with. One way to categorize the different types of computer network designs is by their scope or scale. A network can be characterized by its physical capacity or its organizational purpose. Use of the network, including user authorization and access rights, differ accordingly. Now let's talk about personal area networks. A personal area network or PAN is a computer network used for communication among computer and different information appliances close to one person. Some examples of devices that are used in a PAN are personal computers, printers, cell phones, tablets, PDAs, scanners, and even video game consoles. A PAN may include wired and wireless devices. The reach of a PAN typically extends to 10 meters. A wired PAN is usually constructed with USB and firewire connections, while technologies such as Bluetooth and infrared communication typically form a wireless personal area network. Next, we discuss one of the most popular networks that we see almost everywhere today. A local area network or LAN connects network devices over a relatively short distance. A networked office building, school, or home usually contains a single LAN, though sometimes one building will contain a few small LANs, perhaps one room, and occasionally a LAN will span a group of nearby buildings. A LAN can be connected to another LAN or other network using special kind of networking device called router. There is growing number of usage of LANs in various segments of industry and we will discuss all of them including various protocols and enabling technologies later. Next, we talk about metropolitan area network. 
a MAN or metropolitan area network connects two or more computers or networks which are geographically separated but in the same metropolitan city. A MAN usually interconnects a number of local area networks using a high capacity backbone technology such as fiber optic cable and provides uplink services to wide area networks and the internet. MANs are larger than local area networks but smaller than wide area networks which are, we are going to explain next. As the term implies, a wide area network or one spans a large physical distance. For example, if you want to connect two cities that are thousands of miles apart, say San Francisco and New York, you need to use wide area networks. A wide area network differs from a LAN in several important ways. Most wide area networks, like Internet, are not owned by any one organization, but rather exist under collective or distributed ownership and management. 